Hi, I'm Dr. Ashdeep Kaur Anand. I'm the clinical director at PCMH Resto Health Bangalore and the founder director of Aviksha, a home-based primary care at PCMH Resto Health. My expertise is in HIV, palliative care and the elderly care. So pulse oximeter is an instrument which is used to check your oxygen saturation levels in your blood. So as we breathe in the oxygen through our lungs, it enters into our blood. And this can be easily checked by something called the, this pulse oximeter. This pulse oximeter can be used even by people at home, by a layman. You don't have to be a doctor to check your oxygen saturation using a pulse oximeter. All you need to do is put it on your index finger or the middle finger, preferably the right hand and switch it on and it shows you what is the level of saturation, oxygen saturation in your blood and it also gives you the reading of your pulse. So as you fix it onto your finger, keep it on there for about half a minute to a minute. It will show you immediately a reading. That's not the correct reading. Wait for a minute and it will show you the exact reading. That would be the correct reading for your oxygen saturation. And normally the oxygen saturation levels should be somewhere between the 97 to 100%. If somebody's saturation is less, at times it can happen that you have a saturation of 95%. Do not panic because some people who have an underlying lung disease like a bronchial asthma or any constructive disease, it can be bronchiectasis, can be fibrosis because of some other infection those people also can be having a low saturation levels. So it is important that you check your saturation and if it is starting to fall below because you have been tested for COVID, you need to check your saturation levels frequently every day. And this can be done at home because the people with mild symptoms or no symptoms of COVID but who are COVID positive can be managed at home remotely by a physician over a telephone. All they need to do is check their saturation, check their pulse and temperature three times a day and follow up with their doctor as with their readings. And if the doctor finds that the, your saturation levels are dropping, then you need oxygen support and might have to be moved to a hospital for further management.